With less than 72 hours to the presidential elections, the question of security remains paramount amid calls by NASA to hold peaceful protests beginning Tuesday that will extend to Election Day. And as the opposition prepares to resume to the streets from Tuesday demanding electoral reforms, acting interior CS Dr. Fred Matiangi was at the Kenya School of Government in Kabete for a brief from regional coordinators and county commissioners. And it is here that the CS was not mincing his words in cautioning those intending to disrupt the poll that they will be dealt with indiscriminately. We did not write the law. We did not write the law. You, my colleagues, county commissioners, regional commissioners, you did not write the law. We didn't write it. It was written and passed, it was passed in parliament. Those, some of those who now don't want to live by it are the ones who debated it. They are the ones who enacted it. Now, they cite Article 37 of the Constitution and say, oh, it allows you to pick it. Which part of the law allows you to hurl stones at a police station? Which part of the law allows you to hurl stones at a police station? Which part of the law? Matiangi revealed that the National Security Advisory Council held a meeting with the electoral body following concerns on the security of their personnel in regions prone to violence and elaborate measures are in place to ensure their security and that of election materials. IBC met with the National Security Advisory Committee last week and presented to the National Security Advisory Committee their needs, their security needs. And we are ready from the planning of the National Police Service, our own planning, the Minister of Interior, we are ready to provide what they requested us to provide so that they can conduct a successful presidential election. The meeting was convened to discuss security preparedness and challenges ahead of the poll with the Inspector General of Police saying they are ready to handle any acts of lawlessness. Owe it to our people to provide a safe and a secure environment to enable those who wish to vote to do so, to enjoy that right in a peaceful environment. And those who do not wish to vote are equally given the space to enjoy that right of their own privacy. The CS, however, remained mum on the number of security personnel deployed to oversee the Thursday polls, whose fate is shrouded in political uncertainty. Reporting for Channel 1 News Hour, I'm Ron Cliff, OD.